Hey guys, this is Greg from Dua Realty. Today we're doing a new episode of Renovation Allocation. We just bought this townhouse in Kitchener. We're gonna flip it and show you the whole process. So let's get inside. All right guys, so this is our latest project here. This is probably the cleanest fixer upper that I've ever bought. I just bought it with a partner. We're about to get started on demo. We already have some materials being delivered, but we bought this strictly because it is super clean and it's gonna be a quick and easy flip. So this is just over a thousand square feet. It's a two bedroom bungalow, quiet, close to the golf course, close to the highway. The main thing that we find with some of these communities is that they're lacking in current or modern finishes that the buyers still do love. So we wanted to give them that feature. So the first bedroom here, pretty straightforward, pretty basic. This would be like a guest room or home office in here. We're gonna do new flooring, trim, and a new door and that's gonna be it for this room. It's gonna be super quick and easy. So we're just inside the foyer now where you do have a coat closet, a nice area for people to greet each other or say their goodbyes, and uh, a little bathroom over here, which is a full bathroom. This is probably one of the cleanest bathrooms in a fixer upper project that I've ever had. We're gonna do a new vanity, new light, new toilet. I've never been able to keep a tub and a flip before. Usually they're dirty and disgusting, so. We're gonna actually keep this one, retile everything, plumbing fixture update, and that'll be it in here. All right, so now we'll check out the laundry room. Uh, right now it's pretty small and cluttered. So what we wanna do in here is actually take out this closet. We wanna open it up a little bit more, do a side-by-side -side washer dryer, make it look a lot nicer and a little more functional and less crowded. All right, so let's check out the kitchen. I'll tell you a little bit about what we're gonna do in here. We're gonna try to keep the existing footprint so that we still have uh, a bit of a dining area. But what we wanna do actually is move the fridge, get more than 10 inches of working space by the stove, and then we're gonna rejig this island so it's not this kind of awkward L shape. A lot of the stuff is gonna stay in the same location in order to keep the cost down. Uh, we're not gonna have to move the sink. We're not gonna have to move the dishwasher. It's gonna be new cabinetry, new quartz countertops, new backsplash, new lighting. So we're gonna keep the same footprint, but it's gonna be a lot more functional and a lot better looking. So that's the kitchen. Let's check out the living area. One of the main things that we loved about this house was the vaulted ceilings. This room is not gonna change substantially, but it is gonna get new flooring, new trim. We're gonna build a fireplace wall floor to ceiling here with a nice modern style electric fireplace that'll be a feature that not a lot of the other competition has so we want to set ourselves apart here and hopefully get a little bit of extra money as well okay so that's the living room i'll show you the master bedroom here there's not going to be a significant change in here new flooring new trim and doors. One area where we are gonna see a drastic change is in the master ensuite. So what we wanna do in here is really make this feel a lot more open and spacious. Right now it has a small little vanity. Everything is kind of clustered in here. Uh, so we do wanna open up this wall. We're gonna actually tear it down and then we're gonna change the lighting and make us feel a lot more open and spacious. Yeah, the ensuite, we can definitely get away with spending a little bit more money on it. Uh, this is the bathroom the actual buyer is gonna be using. So we feel like we can splurge a little bit because they're gonna be super impressed when they walk in here. So the last transformation that we're gonna see on the main floor is the railing and the stairs. We're gonna actually make the stairs wood stairs. So we're gonna have oak treads, a little more stylish. And this will be the main thing what that you see when you walk in the door. So we wanna make sure it matches the rest of the house. All right, let's check out the basement. So the basement is gonna see probably some major transformation. Right now it's unfinished. We do plan on finishing about 70% of the basement. We're gonna put in all new pot lights. We're gonna finish framing the walls where needed. We're gonna have a spare bedroom over here. So we're gonna build a wall right after this window so that the bedroom has a little bit of natural light in it. They can incorporate it into their rec room space. They can have friends or family stay over if they need. And this will be a third full bathroom. So this is like pretty rare. Not very often are you seeing three full bathrooms in a thousand square foot bungalow. So that'll be the last thing that we're doing in the basement. As you can see, the sellers left some junk behind. 
This is not an uncommon thing when you're buying a fixer upper. So we just bought this house and despite the intense market that we're in right now, we actually bought this property for $15,000 under the asking price. We expect to spend anywhere between 50 and $60,000 on the renovation. We're hoping that when we're done this renovation, this house will be worth about 650. Some of the comparables in the area before we bought it were even up to as much as 700. So we could be looking at 650 to 700,000 on the flip side when we're done this renovation. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because we want you to see this whole process from start to finish. And if you're thinking about buying a fixer upper or an investment property in the KW and Cambridge area, make sure to check out the link in the description and we'll help you get started.